Dr. Cupid Poe, and the topic is spirituality and true freedom. And of course, Dr. Poe, let us allow you to uh, continue uh, your conversation. And at the same time, let's see if we can talk about uh, the uh, new book uh, that you have, uh, Imogene Reborn, uh, to sort of bring that into uh, what we're dealing with, dealing with true freedom, et cetera. Yes, uh, Dr. Haney, uh, the Lord gave me the idea for this book about uh, three years ago now. And um, uh, the motive in writing it was to help dramatize how widespread abuse is in our culture, uh, particularly sexual and mental abuse. Mm -hmm. And so the main character then is an abused Caucasian female born in a small town mm -hmm. in Arkansas. And uh, she's sexually abused by her father. She's sexually, she's abused by two husbands. Mm -hmm. And eventually she, she, she runs to California and eventually she comes back home to Arkansas mm -hmm where she connects with a black pastor mm -hmm. and he begins to counsel her and encouraging her mm -hmm. to surrender her will to the oh, will of God, God. Okay. to move out of uh, self-centeredness related to her own, mm -hmm. related to having been abused by both her mother and father mm -hmm. uh, and to move toward God-centeredness. Mm -hmm. uh, he also encourages her to forgive everybody that's mm -hmm. ever harmed or hurt okay. her. Mm -hmm. uh, she agrees to surrender her will to the will of God. She agrees to to, uh, to forgive, mm -hmm. and so she is moved rapidly toward uh, true freedom. freedom. Okay. And so this book, by the way, has been accepted in competition for a Pulitzer surprise mm -hmm. for this year, 2006. Mm -hmm. We're hoping uh, that it'll be nominated in the next three or four weeks, mm -hmm. we should know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's available here at Cokesbury Bookstore okay. on mm -hmm. 8th Avenue. Mm -hmm. It's also available uh, at Davis Kidd Bookstore mm -hmm. in Green Hill Shopping mm -hmm. Center. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to encourage you to get this book. We think it speaks uh, in a very profound way mm -hmm. to the widespread problem of abuse and the answer to abuse, mm -hmm. which is faith in God and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. The title of it is Imogene mm -hmm. Reborn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, uh, Dr. Poe, uh, uh, dealing with uh, the, uh, this whole idea of uh, true freedom and selfishness, uh, what would you say to uh, people this morning that are having some real problems? I think earlier you, you, uh, you spoke to us in reference to health, some of the health issues that people are confronted now. Uh, what would you say in reference to uh, how they might be able to use the information perhaps that they might find in uh, Imogene Reborn mm -hmm. and some of the things that we're talking about now so that they might be able to bridge that gap between uh, no freedom mm -hmm. and uh, move toward uh, true freedom? Right. I'm convinced, Dr. Haney, that there, 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 are numbers, there are numbers of uh, uh, scientific studies now that also support the point of view that if you are self-centered, if you are selfish in your thinking and in your behavior and in your attitude, then you are creating your own uh, prison. You are creating your own uh, unhappiness. Uh, and you are contributing to uh, impaired mental as well as physical health if your focus is yourself. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if your focus is helping others, is, mm -hmm. if your focus is doing for others, mm -hmm. not because you want to return now, mm -hmm. okay, but as your way of pleasing God, mm -hmm. as your way of doing what God wants you to do, then uh, the Holy Spirit then transitions you out of being self-centered mm -hmm. and enables you to become Christ or God-centered. Mm -hmm. And that's the beginning of true freedom. Mm -hmm. And as a byproduct of that, your physical, mental, spiritual, and social health will significantly improve. And you'll be able to feel then the joy and mm -hmm. the peace that only God gives. It is not, and, and what bothers me is that a lot of people's health problems okay. are related to their selfishness, mm -hmm. all right? In other words, they have to create their own health yes. problems, no matter how, how they might look for medicine, and et cetera. It's their attitude that you, that you say, go on. Yes. Uh, oftentimes, we contribute to our health problems mm -hmm. by our self-centered attitude, mm -hmm. self-centered belief, self-centered behavior. Mm -hmm. It is also true that we can contribute to the health problems of other people mm -hmm. by treating other people mm -hmm. in a hostile, okay. self-centered mm -hmm. mm -hmm. manner, okay? Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, but, and so it's important that when we're having health problems that we not only find the right doctor and mm -hmm. be placed on the right treatment, mm -hmm but that we do an inventory of our attitudes, of our beliefs, of our behavior. Mm -hmm. Are we self-focused? We need to ask ourselves, am I too focused on myself? Mm -hmm. Am I doing enough for others? Okay. Uh, should I perhaps be a little bit more giving? Mm -hmm. You see, 
it's 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 a giving spirit it's a caring out reaching out spirit mm -hmm. that helps to bring about healing mm -hmm. and helps to contribute to health mm -hmm. and so that's that's a very very important part in terms of trying to reach this true freedom that absolutely it, it has nothing to do with anything money or anything else and the person that might have all the money in the world still might not have that uh, true kind of freedom absolutely you. if you are self-centered if you are selfish you can be j paul getty mm -hmm. uh you can be uh bill gates mm -hmm. uh or you can be someone who just uh won the lottery mm -hmm. all right if you're self-centered if you are selfish if your focus is yourself you will not know true happiness. Mm -hmm. You will not know the peace that passes all understanding. Mm -hmm. You will not know the joy that only God gives. Mm -hmm. You will not know the abundant life. In other words, you will not know true freedom. In other words, uh, the Dr. Paul, I think you've also indicated by mentioning uh, Bill Gates and others that uh, there's something about philanthropy that uh, sort of relieves you of, you know, you've got a lot of money and you're looking for that kind of freedom and accept. But if you give that money and you establish uh, foundations and et cetera, that's your effort to try to at least move closer toward the freedom that we that everybody would think that you already have because you have got all that money Is yes that now you can be rich monetarily and still have uh, uh, true freedom mm -hmm. i happen to feel that bill cosby mm -hmm. uh, has true freedom he's a very wealthy man oprah winfrey i think mm -hmm. has true freedom mm -hmm. she's a very wealthy woman mm -hmm. bill gates i think is uh, has true freedom mm -hmm. he's a very generous man mm -hmm. all right so uh, so there's nothing wrong with having an abundance of money mm -hmm. but don't worship it mm -hmm. all right don't okay. hoard it mm -hmm. but be generous with what mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. in showing care and concern for others mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so that giving uh, of oneself and what one has uh, to help others is the road to true freedom. Jesus talked about this, uh, uh, Dr. Poe, and the rich young ruler. Did he not? Is that is that essentially that's right. what that, that's all about? Talk about that's that right. for me. Well, you recall he had an abundance, and mm. uh, he said, "Well, uh, he just he said he he looked at he looked at what he had accumulated. He said, well, I think I'll build bigger barns, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm, yeah. and I'll just uh, eat, drink, and be merry, and mm -hmm. I'll just sit back. Okay. And then the Lord said." Uh, uh, you fool this okay. night your soul uh -huh. will be required of you mm -hmm. okay so we're not here to accumulate mm -hmm. uh, we're not here to become rich mm -hmm. we're here to serve God and we serve God mm -hmm. by helping one another mm -hmm. that's why we're mm -hmm. here and so Dr. Poe the, the, the book that you have now and you're thinking in terms of it receiving a, a Pulitzer Prize well we would love for mm -hmm. that to happen mm -hmm. uh, the fact that it's been received in competition for a Pulitzer Prize mm -hmm. is in itself an honor. Mm -hmm. The next stage is to be nominated. We're mm -hmm. in the category of letters, mm -hmm. and we are told that we'll know within about three weeks mm -hmm. whether it's nominated. Now, if it's nominated, we think that that will push it to the national level uh -huh. and gain some national attention uh -huh. for it for it by the way the president of the american association of christian counselors okay. dr tim clinton read the book and has agreed to promote it uh -huh. each person who reads this book uh, Dr. Haney has almost the same response. I couldn't put it down. Uh -huh. and, so, and, and it's such a small book in the in, in sense of, uh, of where books generally go. Yes. But, so you're saying that with this small book that they can find basically anything in terms of their own lives, so no matter what kind of life they might live, about how they might be able to move toward uh, being whole. Well, you. yes, the, the book answers the question, how do I overcome the damage that's been done to me by, by having been abused, okay. mentally abused, physically abused, sexually abused? Mm -hmm. How can I overcome the damage? Mm -hmm. The book answers that question. Mm -hmm. And if you've been abused, then Imogene speaks to, your, mm -hmm. speaks to you. If you know someone who's been abused, Imogene mm -hmm. speaks to you. If you are a counselor and you work with abused mm -hmm. clients, and I'm sure you do if you're a counselor, mm -hmm. then Imogene speaks to you. Mm -hmm. And so it, 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 it's a book that is, is, is really open to all individuals in order, and but but the, uh, what makes it so common it seems to me is that it's, it's dealing with a common theme which is to say that the closer you move to God yes. the better your situation is there would that be uh, absolutely you know sometimes people say you know I'm praying now I'm going to church but it seems as if I'm having more problems mm -hmm. than I had before mm -hmm. or the more I try to do the right thing the more problems I have mm -hmm. well there is a period of, 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 of trials that we go through when we just turn away from self-centeredness mm -hmm. the devil works harder to keep us focused mm -hmm. keep us self-focused all right mm -hmm. but if we persist all right and if we hang in there then the Holy Spirit begins to 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 deliver us into a into a higher level of, of mm -hmm. relationship with Christ and God can change lives Is absolutely saying, Dr. Pope? he can change lives and he can change anything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anything no matter how difficult your situation is uh -huh. no matter what you've done what you've been through mm -hmm. God 
has the forgiving and the healing power mm -hmm. that will enable you to, to know true freedom. Mm -hmm. Dr. Poe, let me uh, thank you over the last uh, 10 or 15 seconds that we have uh, for coming by and giving us again that excellent information about achieving and moving toward true freedom. And uh, certainly we believe that uh, you are moving toward true freedom by some of the things that you're telling us as well as some of your productions here. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.